We can't go in the front door. I just wanted to figure out all these different things. And all those ghouls coming after us was really strange. It's like they were in attack mode, but they didn't see us yet. So we still surprised them by shooting them in the face. Which is always a lovely thing to do. Just poke them in the eyeball. With arrow. Okay, so since we're in here, we do need to save, because we are going to try to unlock that. So, we'll save over M, just because. That is our most advanced save. So, let's see. Can we pick it in the first try? Yes, we can. So, be cautious. Oh! Oh! And that's probably something we can knock down to get in there. There we go. You guys need to be cautious as well. Oh, God. Nope, nope, nope. Run, run, run. Get away, get away. Um, Go ahead and... Who has their crossbow out? You do not. Go ahead and crossbow that guy. So, how many did we just find? A bunch of zombies. Okay. A bunch of zombies. At least they're not fairly strong. So, no, we don't want to cast a spell. Abort that. Switched over to melee. Get up there and get against the wall. End turn. So, yeah, they're all surprised. They're not going to get a turn yet. I don't know where the other ones are, so this one's that one. There. And we know these, so there's one up... Th oh, there's one up there. And then there's one hiding somewhere. I'm not sure where. So you get to go... Yeah, you're just going to run up and smack this guy and move to the side. Pass on the smite. Nobody has your skills. Bravo! And... Enter. And I probably need to move Hasanka back. Because I think most of these guys are going to be melee. That is... Yeah, they're just barehanded. So yeah, they're just going to be just regular old zombies. So you get to ready your melee attacks. Same for you. Let's just get them all through the door if at all possible. Oh, I don't want you throwing either of those knives. Oh, cantrip attack. Yes. Cantrip attack. End turn. Let's see what they have. You need to move back. Be ready for a cantrip as well. Because they should start coming towards us this turn. Yeah, here they come. Here come the zombies. I'm not afraid of zombies. They're all melee guys. And yay, it took three damage. That's fine. Rush us, zombies. Rush us. Yep, that's going to end badly for you. Pass on the smite. Smash it again. Well, that didn't work out quite as well. In turn. I'm not even going to try to waste spell slots on them. I didn't even take my short rest, but it's zombies. Uh, let's go after... Yeah, you're going to come up to this one. Stabby, stabby time. There you go. Nice stab. Number two. Number three. Yeah, because we don't even have our action surge available, so we're going to have to short rest down here. End turn. Um, oh, you have disadvantage. Oh, because he's in darkness. That sucks. And we can't even cast spells because we swapped over to that. No. Uh, ready a melee attack. They're brainless zombies, so they're not that scary. Sacred Flame. 
Ooh, and it saved, so it didn't take any damage in turn. Wow, I can't believe it had a success. Well, it had a dex save. Zombies are not dex just creatures, though. Apparently, they're pretty good at hitting, though. It has a plus four to attack. Holy crap. Okie dokie. I did not realize such things as these. Pass on the smite. Well done. So let's see, which one needs to be smacked? I think we'll just get rid of as many targets as possible. Remove their turn efficiency. Get around to this side. Oh, hey, nice opportunity to attack. You failed though. We're gonna be right back in your range. But now all of you are in our range. So time for the three stabs. The three Stoogy stabs? The three stabs. I trained hard for this. Another one. Yes. And a third. So if they decide to come for Normie, they're going to have to basically suffer an opportunity attack. And we're going to start doing a wisdom saves on you. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but hey, Oh, whoa. And they have a negative two to their wisdom, by the way. <laughs> so, dumb as bricks, but it's somehow still saved, which is sad. Ouch. Yeah, they have to roll a... I think he has 21 AC. So they have to roll a 17 or higher to actually contact with him. So, guess what, Gray? You are just tanking through this. We're going to be using Sacred Flame to save your butt. Everybody's just using their cantrips while he's just there. I am Tank. I are Tankosaurus. So, smack the zombie. Pass on that. Smack the zombie again. Pass on that. So, there's another dead zombie. End turn. Oh yeah, we, we, we aren't levels... We're not the next level yet. At level 6, we get the access to the ability to cast spells through our weapons. So I'm going to just firebolt the crap out of him. <laughs> I do... Oh, wow. Only 75 experience from that, which is understandable. That they're not really that worthwhile. We got a bunch of arrows from it. Sweet. So let's go ahead and take a short rest. Since we've murdered a bunch of zombies, we have access to a room that requires a lockpick to get into. We should have used some of our hit die there. Oh, we can. We can still use hit die. There you go. Do you have any items we want to attune to? No. No. Do we want you to attune to one of these just in case? Mm, no. We will have you attune to one just because why not? We're going to end up with him using it later. So let's see. What all do we have in here? Definitely want to be on the cautious side. And let's see what we have. So we are now inside this place. We actually have a lot to explore over here, too. But this is this looks like it's supposed to be optional. Not a required go-through, because you had to unlock the door. So there is stuff to interact with. So I guess we'll just start interacting. We got a book with greater healing potion, a bronze statuette, and a beautiful necklace. Quality of the necklace is above average. So we probably want to identify that. Time to save, scum. Because if we fail unlocking these doors, that means a whole section that we don't get to see. That one was a DC 15, so that's fairly decent.
Oh, there's a lootable spot. That is a very tiny, tiny thing to miss. This is why you always want a good thief on your side. A magnificent dagger. Oh, we can identify that too. We've also got a winged ring. We're not going to put it on. We've also got a series of handwritten pages. So we've got better stuff. We do need to probably just chill, identify some things. Do that kind of stuff in a little bit. But I want to finish exploring this area first. Thankfully, you can walk on walls. Not on water, just on walls. You're not that halfling. So that's another door to unlock there. Not seeing a lot of lootable spots, though. I'm just seeing a lot of interactive spots that are not exactly what we want. So let's go ahead and save again. We're in the bone keep, for goodness sake. So open this door. So we've got zombies in there. At least one. What was that? What was that grunt, my dudes? I don't trust the grunt. Oh, 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 no, no, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. So there's a Dark Apprentice and a zombie in there for sure. Okay, so you want to be there. You want to be right behind him. And you want to be right behind that. There we go. And you are going to initiate this. There's probably, I think, two Dark Apprentices in there, because I just saw a second one walk by. If we can take out the zombies. The zombies are the melee threat. The Dark Apprentices are the range threat. Ah, you had a much better Mega Man 9 experience? That's awesome. Yeah, there's two Dark Apprentices. Attack that one. Okay, initiative. Two zombies and two dark apprentices. I can deal with this. Yay, we got a higher success. So let's see what kind of nonsense we can get into there. You get to go ahead and do cunning, a dash, get behind something. Uh, we actually won the encounter with the, against the bone guys. We've also had like a weird bug where it keeps putting a shield on my character, so I'm basically generating free shields, <laughs> which is very awkward. Very, very awkward. And I'm going to do this number real quick. It just keeps, the battle music keeps deciding it wants to peak up for some reason, which is very frustrating. Okay, so you are going to end turn there. You are ready a melee attack. So anything that comes into range of melee is going to get itself eaten alive. You go ahead and stealth over to there. We're just basically trying to make this our choke point on this one. But we're killing some dark apprentices. We actually have two bow shots we can take on this guy. Does he spot us? Yep, he does. We're not exactly great at that. Still killed him. <laughs> That's one Dark Apprentice down. We only have two to deal with, so end turn. You... You're just gonna ready a cantrip. But yeah, we, we pretty much murdered the Skelly Bros. And let's let them come through the door. You dash up high. We have advantages here. Endern. 
So anything that decides to come through is going to get just completely hammered. It's probably going to spot you. Oh, no, he's casting Chill Touch. Oh, disadvantage. Ha uh ha. -huh. So here come the Zombles. Don't know what that one was doing. Uh, yeah, go ahead and keep attacking it. If you get revealed, you get revealed. What went wrong there? Oh, failure on the stealth. Um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, I don't rely on Hasanka for the combat anyway, thankfully. Time for the surprise! How's it going, my friend? And do we Divine Smite you? Do we trust it? Um, yes, we go ahead and smite. So we took out the apprentices. Come at me, zombies. Plonk. Wow, an eight hits a zombie? Wow, they're butts. <laughs> they are horribly bad. Um, no, we're not going to use up your spell slots. We are going to use cantrips for most of this. But yeah, Hasanka missed several times. We are going to go ahead and slow this bugger down. We almost can't even miss. We'd have to roll a one to miss with that <laughs> and turn. And let's go with some more Sacred Flames. I think the Dark Apprentices there were supposed to be the scary part. <laughs> I don't... They didn't succeed. They failed horribly. So, Sacred Flame on the closest zombie. Failure and dead. And turn. Come, zombie. Let you meet your fate. And yeah, we just need to get in range to smack them with spells. Not even going to waste arrows on these guys. If they have an AC of 8 or, like, lower than 8. I'm not really worried about them. Switch back to your hammer. It's hammer time. Pass on the smite. Not worth it. You like it? I mean, it's a zombie. It loves it. But that's fine. Well, that was easy. Only 250 experience from that, though. So, I guess that's reasonable. Just getting a bunch of, like, easy little encounters in here. Embroidered silk scarf. A valuable item you can sell to a shop. That's a very strange thing to find, but that's okay. Another one. Another dagger. We're just finding all kinds of junk. We also have some books there to read. We have all kinds of nonsense. I definitely want to save after that. We're going to save it as, oh my. But yeah, everyone misses a lot whenever I keep rolling twos and threes. No, why? So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and have you go back into cautious mode so we can find traps. Because I have a feeling there's going to be some in here. And let's go ahead and check that. Open and open or close this door. Spirit and Flesh Advanced Studies in Necromancy. Nice. Sounds like a pleasant afternoon read. Can you actually interact with that? No. I don't know if that was like a secret door or not, because we actually had one that was a secret wall down here. Right there. We also have a ladder over here. Our job right now is to get to the next floor, which is literally we just go up here and go through that, I think. But, if anything, from playing CRPGs, we all know you never just go straight to the next floor. So that one is Experiments of Aralthalus. This is... Principles of Animation by Nicholas Famelli. Falamil, sorry, not Famelli. What's in there? We've got 
an unidentified potion, some acid, a serpentite, and a remarkable arrow. It's probably an arrow plus one, if I had to guess. So we have two doors, and we also have this. I'm going to save again. We're just going to keep saving over O for a while. Because I really wish it didn't show the path, but at least it just shows Alzareth on there. That is one thing. I, I don't like it showing the path to the save. I know that's tacky, but I really don't. It just feels kind of invasive if you're going to be streaming it. And yes, we still do walk on walls. We don't walk on water, but we walk on walls. So, and also, who does bookshelves like that? A velvet mask. Unidentified potion. I have a feeling that's a grand potion of healing, but... So I think we want to rest first. Even though, well, currently we're not that far down. I think we'll do a short rest, but other than that, I think we're fine. Oh, we need to be together. Come on. You can get all the way up here. So there's a camp spot there. We have these. That's the rest spot. And that is a harvestable spot? What's in that one? So that's our rest spot. This is what? Another mask, some more food, and some gold. So basically everything you need to rest here. I'm more concerned about... Yeah, you have two bookshelves. How the shit are you supposed to reach the ones up there? Do you not... You, you can't even reach the top of this bookshelf. Much less reach the bottom of that one. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's like taller characters, but we literally just like stand up to like that height on it. <laughs> it's bad. So let's do a short rest. It's not safe to rest here. <gasps> oh no. Why is it not safe to rest here? I don't like that. That's like whenever the thing says, you can't... Yeah, just scream, you guys. Um, cannot rest. Enemies are near. It's like, what? What? Where? <laughs> okay, so Cleric. Actually, you are going to be the closest one. You're going to be there. You are going to be there. You are going to be there. So we can't rest because enemies are near. Maybe they can also... Maybe. I mean, this is pretty, like, prone to magic. So let's go ahead and save. Since it won't let us short rest, I'm not going to identify that stuff yet. I will identify it soon. Because we're about to have a long rest as well. Say, you're sneaking in. Ooh, new waypoint added. Added laboratory. Well, there's our laboratory. I mean, that's a lot of dirt mixed in with them. You'd think you'd want your bodies a little cleaner than that if you're going to be performing necromancy. So there's a dark apprentice up there. Let's go ahead and loot containers. We'll deal with the dark apprentice in just a minute. Got another dagger plus two. Why? Don't mind if I do. So now you have dual daggers plus two. Better not put... What's really weird is it actually put a shield on her too. And she can't use shields. <laughs> she literally cannot use shields. And it, it put one on her. So I'm hoping that's a thing that's fixed in... Okay. Oh lordy. Nope, 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 nope. Walk away. So we got two zombies that are maintaining those piles. We got a third zombie there. So this is back through here. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a rather large encounter. I think what we want to do. I would rather choke them through here, honestly. Have you be there. You guys be in the cautious state. 
you be there. Just ambush them as they try to come through the door? Let's go this way. We're going to target the Dark Apprentice first. Because this is going to be a fight. This is going to be a real fight. Not like the crappy little stuff that we were doing before. So can you get... You do have a line of sight on him. So let's see how many of them are. There's two Dark Apprentices and I think four zombies? Yeah. Nice shot. Did you succeed at stealth? Yes, you did. 29 stealth. Sweet. Cunning action. Dash! Run away! Run away very slowly. I'm wagering the other Dark Apprentice is down... Yeah, no, that's the first one. The other one's over there. Okay, so they're both up there. That's good by me. End turn. So you are going to be readying that. I'm going to go ahead and have you... Ready a ranged attack. They're going to be surprised. I don't even need to ready the ranged attack. I probably should have put my shield up. Um, <clears throat> no, just enter. So they're all surprised. You get to come down to here. Yeah, I need to get everyone into position. I was out of the position I think I probably should have been. So, you go ahead and end turn. Could cast Bless. That would not be a bad thing to do. Didn't think about that. Uh, let's go ahead and have you do a dash up to there. And then you'll prepare just a ranged attack. That's just so weird looking. I'm sorry. So, ready. Actually... Mm, yeah, range attack. You have infinite arrows. It doesn't matter. Ready, range attack. I wish I could ready a spell, like an actual like fireball or something like that for if I saw something. So can we get a shot in on them? Well, that's a shot. So can you attack... Either of them? Nope, you can't. Uh, ready a range attack. We want them to come through the door. If you get revealed, it's fine, but... His perception... Oh, his perception is just that garbage. So you're gonna come down here. You're gonna cast spells on him. Cast spell. Let's go for... Uh, Sacred Flame's probably not gonna work. Could do Guiding Bolt. How much life do you have? Eight? I think we will just go ahead and attack you. Well, that was enough. <laughs> I do find it hilarious that they're probably going to keep trying to run through the door. <laughs> Here come all the zombies! I still don't have Fireball, so... Yeah, we had a Fireball scroll, but... I, I'm going to forget to use scrolls in battle. It's just one of those things. Ranged attack. Uh, ready. Range attack as well. Hi, guy. Bonk. <laughs> oh, at least we're we're here for this. So let's go ahead and slow these boys down. So yeah, just slow them down. Do what we can here. And I think you're still good with the bow for one more turn. Because this guy's going to move up. He's going to have to use a dash to do it. So cast spell, sacred flame. That's not too bad. Ten, nine damage. He's down to, what, one life? That is perfectly fine by me. This guy might actually get an attack. No, he didn't. Lots of zombies in here. But nothing too threatening. Okay, so you should be able to finish off that guy if you want to. I'd rather actually have you soften them up. 
But you only get one attack. So I'm going to actually have you soften this one up. Because you're going to get... That's on me. Oh, wow. You got spotted by a zombie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just, wow. <laughs> oh, the least observant creature in the, like, entire universe. And you got spotted by them. I are disappoint. No, we're not going to waste smites on this. Although we are taking a long rest after we get this area clear. I don't want to risk having another fight pop up and be like, oh, huh, there's still enemies here. You have to be, you can't rest yet. No. So run in here. Now you get to take out this one. Ooh, nice hit. A palpable hit. A modest success. Oh, no, it's a modest success. Fine. Be humble braggy. That's cool. Time for our castings. Casting call. Bonk. And eight damage. Sweet. He rolled a zero on his dexterity save. <laughs> wow. Uh, switch to hammer and shield to get your AC up. Because this guy will get an attack. There you go. And you do have disadvantage, but I think, no, you, you still hit him though. Did we not get sneak attack because he's engaged? No, we didn't. Okay. That's fine. End turn. And this should kill him. I don't think there's any way he's going to survive this. Impressive move, my friend. Yep. Our zombie knowledge has increased. Who are you? What do you want? Hmm. I'm glad I saved my spells. Because we're assholes. You can never trust a necromancer. We should just kill them all. And here come the zombies. I hate how it throws us right into the middle of this, though. So she gets to go first with 50 freaking life and chill touch. Thankfully, she missed. Attack. Bend the knee or perish. Yep, attack. She's running away. <laughs> How are they only medium undead? It's kind of like a medium well steak. <laughs> it's there. It's just not the prettiest ever. So do we actually have line of... Oh, we do not have line of sight on her from there. So we're going full rabid monkey on her ass. So that... Oh, that's another Dark Apprentice up there. That is less good. But we're going full rabid monkey. I said it already. We're doing this. Stabby stabby time. Yeah, you're in the darkness. But you're still going to get stabbed. Must have hurt. Wow, you are not even in the yellow yet. You're casting a... Sp oh, chill touch. Great. Missed. Hi. Thank you for the two damage. I appreciate it. Um, We're going to risk the opportunity to attack and go after you. Because we need to get you down first. Mages first. And you know what? We're going to do a full-on level two smite. Boom. Take that. <laughs> Here's our second attack. And we'll pass on it, that one. So you get to start running after these. How many... Where are the rest of the zombies at? They're in the cells. Okay. I am fine with that. He can handle the zombies pretty much by himself. Cast spell. You're going to go ahead and do the armor up. On yourself. Shielded by faith, he stands resolute. Okay. 
So do we... I think we're going to stab you with the extra attack. Not bad, eh? And then stab you with a primary. Well, we didn't get a kill on it. So yeah, we're just going to have to stab it with all three. It's dead dead now. As opposed to medium dead. Yeah, we're coming after you. Action surge. Switch to bow. Ha. And if we can get another shot like that, we'll be really... Oh. I was like, if we could get another shot like that, we'd be really happy. We'd be able to actually just take him down in one turn. So you get to end your turn. So now it's yours. We can turn undead and chase them away if we want to. I think what we want to do... Switch to our bow. And guiding bolt the one that's up there. Yeah, let's just go straight after you. Or we can even use our divine ability. Which is the Herald of the Sun! 1d8 radiant damage was 2 per clerk level. Cleric level. You should have fled. And he failed. There we go. The rogue will stay back and help the uh, paladin. And as long as they don't hit 20... Sorry. It might be actually 21. Ow! Acidified. What does acidified do? I don't know. Acid, acid damage each turn until the effect ends. One round. So he's going to be taking acid damage, which sucks. Come on in and lend a hand. Or take one off. It doesn't matter which. Yeah. Another stab. Uh, got you. Yeah, really? They have shit AC. So you get to switch over to your shield. Do we actually... No, we don't have any spells we want to cast. Nice move. One thing I always worry about whenever I see acid in a game like this is that it, I'm afraid it's going to start destroying my equipment. Because that is a thing in some games. Um, Enter. No, you're going to... Yeah, that's extra damage. Ouch. Thankfully, the miss missed. The attack missed. And you succeeded on that. So, hi, friend. We're up here to shoot bows at you. Meet this boson particle. And let's move up. We're almost in melee range, so I'm going to switch back to swords. And in turn... Um, you know what? Since he's up there being a dick, we're going to actually come down here and help them out. Switch to the mason shield. Form a line! And cast a spell. Nope. You can't cast a spell with your weapon like that. Kind of wish I had a rod or some kind of focus that I could use. Yeah, you're going to cast Chill Touch on me. That's not going to help you very much, I don't think. Because my AC is fairly high, so are my saving throws. Uh, you've seen worse. Huh? 16 is a miss on him. They're really going after Grey, which is fine by me. Um, I wish I could, like, push your turn back until I could cast another spell. But we'll do that in just a minute. So I think as far as the stabby stabbies, we'll just stab on you. Yeah. Too slow. Surprisingly, still got a hit there. Oh, 3 plus 10. We have a plus 10 to hit. So yeah, even though we have disadvantage, we're fine. Uh, smash that one. Pass on the smite. Start smashing that one. Pass on the smite. That must have hurt. We're not using up our spell slots because I don't trust this to be the last fight. And turn. The one I need to have a spell cast is Hisanka. 
And that's going to be this turn. Yeah. Ah, critical miss. More stabs. That's more what I'm talking about. Nice. So now you can switch over to bow and end turn. I should have used my offhand attack first, but now you can actually do a... Where is it? It's the between light or fairy fire. I think we'll just do light. And on your hat. Light is with us. Oh, we'll just do it on your hammer. And do you actually have another thing? Nope. You just have light now, so we can actually see them, so we can hit them more reliably. Huh? Round four. Begin. Now we don't have disadvantage. Touché. So run up there. Ready to stab from behind. Uh. Eh, six damage, that's not terrible. Smash him in. No, we do not waste our smites right now. Smites are for boss fights. Pass. I mean, this is literally the last zombie. You will be fine. Although, you can't target it, because it's in a weird spot. <laughs> oh, dash. Down to there. We'll pick up stuff in a little bit. And turn. Smacky, smacky. I am unbeatable. You are also one of the lowest rollers. You are not unbeatable. You do have 19 AC with a shield, so you are tankable, though. There we go. 875 experience from that. Sweet. And we didn't learn anything. So, let's see. You get to start picking crap up. All the arrows in the world. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. Really is. We got engraved bone dice. Interesting. Scroll of Ray's Dead. Sounds interesting. Then we have probably another one of those scarves. And that's an exit. A torch? Okay. Is it trying to tell me something? I do wonder what I'm... Oh, that's a light spot. I could actually cast a firebolt up there. Like, we could do this. Learned that zombies are made like steaks. Thankfully, we can cast this as much as we want. Good. Okay, maybe that wasn't a light spot. These are. I do love this mechanic of it, by the way. We can light up things by just casting a firebolt at them. And it will actually cause light to be in that area. So that is pretty awesome to me. Do need to save after that, though. So we're going to save over O, just because we, we murdered everything. Yes. You are going to uh, be cautious and explore everything. Because that is a lootable container. Which has... Ooh, ass... No, it has poison. And herbalism kits. Oh, cute. I'm just loving exploring everywhere in this, because there's, like, nooks and crannies, and that's how all games like this are. And I love it. That's just part of the charm of them for me. Okay, so nothing in there. We do still have a book up there that we didn't read yet. We have loot back there, too. Nothing in there. Oh, we actually had a book back here that we missed as well. I need to read that one. Got a lootable container. I am curious if there's, like, a door we can open there. Like, if we could move one of those bookshelves to get stuff out of it. A Morning Star. 
And a javelin. No, we don't need a javelin. Who needs a freaking javelin? I don't. Okay, so I'm going to send you running all the way back here to get that. Because we missed that before. Run, you fool! Run! Don't encounter any enemies, though. That'd be bad. I don't think enemies can respawn, but they might. <laughs> it's not beyond the scope of CRPGs. Although, well, nope, that's the thing we can just loot up there. Okay. What was that one? That was a nothing? That was a nothing. That was a confusing nothing. Does it have the Olympics? I do not know. I thought this was the exit to the next floor, so we're going to save game. We're going to loot that. So I'm wait I wouldn't be surprised if that actually triggers the secret door. Now that we're looking at it. So we've got another Revivify. We've got Greater Healing and Healing Remedy. I think we already have a Greater Healing. Yeah, we already have a Greater Healing. We need Healing Remedy. So let's go ahead and read that one. Yay. I hate that you can actually double read a book, by the way. Basically Poison Arrows. I'm pretty sure we already have that. Where's the Poison Arrow one? Those are bolts. No, that's deep pain. No, actually, we don't have that one. So that one is one we can read as well. How much encumbrance do I have? A little bit over a ton on each character. Because, yeah. That's just how things roll. I have turned off encumbrance, basically. It allows up to 10... No, it's 100 and something times your strength in carrying capacity. There's an option for it. So there's that bookshelf. Run on back to the rest of us. Actually, we should probably be running back to this. I do like the lighting system in this. And that's a lot of loot. Yes, siree. We will take it all. I think this is our path to the next floor. We've defeated both the guards. We've got you. You're going to come up here and read this. Why? Because you can. A necromantic laboratory practice by Master Madrakt. So we've killed all of his little people. Switch over to this. We're going to go ahead and... Firebolt? Can you firebolt that one? There you go. Let there be light. Perhaps. Let there be light, please. There we go. We now have light. No, it's 2520. I hate encumbrance in games like this. It just makes me feel like I'm wasting time. Because in games like this, I will end up doing like the whole encumbrance thing where I'll pick up all the items and then just take them back, sell them, come pick up more items. I mean, yes, there is a mechanic to help with that issue, but they take 20%. I mean, you get first dibs on the items. But still. It's not pleasant. So cautious, uncautious. We're going to come up here and rest. Before we do that, we do need to identify some stuff, though. Apparently, my internet connection is going... Absolutely bonkers, and I apologize for that. I was just noticing that, but it will happen, unfortunately, from time to time. 
So you need to switch to this so you can actually cast spells. You have identify. You have three uses of it. So let's go ahead and identify some of this nonsense. First that. What are you? Ring of Feather Falling. That is going to be something you need to equip. 